To begin our winter cardinal scene, we are going to start by drawing our tree and our cardinal. Then we will paint the cardinal and the branches. And next week we will add some details in the trees. We will add snow and snowflakes as well. Now to start, we are going to write our name at the top, nice and big, on either side, so that everyone can read it. Then I want you to flip over your artwork, and I want it to be the portrait way. So not the landscape way, but the portrait way, the tall way. The first step is to draw our branch and our tree. And our biggest branch is going to be going off of the page. I would say we want it to be about this wide, but our thumb, no bigger than that. Now when we draw a line from the top all the way to the bottom for our tree, we want to make sure we're making it look real, making it look natural. And we know that trees do not go perfectly straight lines, and we know that they're not really wavy either, so we want to do a line in between. So I'm going to start at the top about, again, distance where my thumb is. And I'm going to just do some little wavy, not too straight, with just a few little waves. Go ahead. Next, I'm going to be drawing the branch that is the closest to the ground, the furthest down on my paper, and the one where the cardinal will be sitting. Notice that this branch is pretty flat so that the cardinal can sit on it. So I'm going to start near the bottom. I'm going to have it kind of go up a little bit and then I am going to have it flatten out. Now we don't want a perfectly straight line, but we do want it to flatten out and go all the way off the page. And then I'm going to do the top of that branch going all the way off the page. Then I'm going to add a few other little branches going up and down and off the page. And when you're drawing branches and when you're looking at them, you know that they don't just end. They end at a very fine point. They get smaller. So they start bigger and then maybe get a little bit smaller. You do the same thing up here going off the page. Like that. Next we are going to draw our branch going up off the page at a diagonal, the one that is furthest up. So I'm going to start here, going off the page, creating a triangle. I'm going to draw to make it look thicker. I'll have another one go off this way. And again, maybe a few little ones as well. Now, before we draw the one in the middle, I want to draw our cardinal to make sure that we have plenty of space for our cardinal. Now, when we're looking at a cardinal, we learn that it has lots of shapes. One of the shapes in the shape of the body is an oval. Now I want you to put your oval right here in the middle on this branch, the lower branch. Now we want to make sure we have a big cardinal. So if we were to draw an oval, which is the shape of the body, really small, you're going to have a teeny cardinal. So we don't want one really small. On the opposite end, we don't want one that's huge either because we would never see a cardinal that big. So I would say about the size of your fist, not the shape of your fist, but about the size of your fist, an oval, and make sure it's just a little bit above your branch so we have room for feet. Now I'm going to draw light until I know it's about the size and the place where I want it. Then I'll go ahead and press harder so that you can see it. Notice how my oval is slanted diagonally instead of standing straight up. This is going to be the belly of our cardinal. Go ahead. 
Then I'm going to draw the head of the cardinal, which is also an oval. Again, I'm going to draw it light until I think I've got it. And then I'll press a little harder. Notice how I'm overlapping and it's tilting up this time. It's almost a little bit diagonal the other way. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my tail. And this I'm going to go over the branch. It's a pretty long tail. Go right over the branch and it is a rectangle. And then I'm going to erase the tree line so it looks like the cardinal's in front. Next we are going to draw the triangle in the head with the feathers and the beak. Now for this I'm not going to, I want to continue off of the head, kind of come to a point of a triangle like that. So it almost kind of looks like a hat. For our beak, I'm going to have a triangle and then a half circle inside on the face. And then again, you can erase these lines. You can erase this line as well. So it looks like one head. Then we are going to connect these two. When you look at a cardinal, it's just one that goes from the neck to the body kind of one. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these lines right here so it looks like one kind of gradual line and then I can erase this entire middle part. Next we're going to draw the black detail on the face. I'm going to start above the beak. I'm going to go around it and then it's going to come kind of to a triangle to an end on the neck. We will put the eye in there later. Next we're going to do a big feather, a big wing in the middle on the belly. I'm going to start on the middle, kind of a triangle and come back up. Then I'm going to do another one on the back. We already have this line, but I'm going to come here and then I'm going to go in to that one. Now these will be covered up when we paint, so if you don't, can't get it quite right, that's okay. And the last step before we paint, of course we need feet. And now we can add our third branch going above our cardinal. So I'm going to do a very similar one. I'm going to have it go off the page here. And then I'm going to have a few bigger ones. Like that. Now we are ready to paint and at your table you're going to get a tray with brown and red paint. You will get a little paintbrush and you will get a paper towel and a placemat, which I do not have but you will have at your table. Now when I say go, you are going to open the red paint. You are going to get a little red paint, not a lot, just a little bit. And I remind you, you hold it like a pencil near the silver part and I want you to paint the cardinals red. Again, you can see I'm just going over those. I can still see my pencil lines just a little bit. I'm going nice and slow. Going over that branch. My cardinal has a nice long tail. Nice long feather here. Now I don't want to go around that black part. We will paint that part black, but I do want to do the feathers and the head, the kind of triangle at the top. I 
I want to make it kind of look like a feather, so I'll do a couple little lines. And then this is going to be a little tricky, but we are going to paint the beak as well. And you don't need a ton of paint, but take your time and paint the entire cardinal red, except for the feet and the part that we are going to paint black. Next, we're going to go for brown, and we're not going to wash our brush. All I want you to do on your paper towel is wipe off the red. Then, when I say go, you are going to open the brown paint, and you are going to make sure your artwork is on the placemat, and you're going to paint your entire tree, taking your time, using plenty of paint, and when you get to the cardinal, I want to make sure that you do not paint over the tail. You can paint over the feet as we will come in and we will draw those over next week with black oil pastel. But I want you to take your time and paint the entire tree. Go ahead. Once you have finished painting your entire tree, we are ready to finish with the little black part here on the cardinal. I will come around and I will put just a teeny, teeny, teeny little dot on your plate. You do not need a lot of black. Now you have brown, and we could go right into black, but first I'm just going to wipe off my brush. I'm not going to rinse it, I'm just going to wipe it off. If we get a little brown in our black, that's okay. Then I'm going to grab a teeny, 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 teeny bit of black. I'm going to very carefully and very slowly paint this part of my cardinal. Once you are done with that, then you are done for the day. And we will finish all of the rest of the details next week.